ABC News investigative correspondent Brian Ross suspended without pay over his botched report on Michael Flynn. In a statement, ABC says, quote, we deeply regret and apologize for the serious error we made yesterday. The reporting conveyed by Brian Ross during the special report had not been fully vetted through our editorial standards process. Is the mainstream media ready to turn over a new leaf? Let's uh, have uh, let's talk to Fox News contributor and senior editor of The Medalist, The Federalist, that is to say, Molly Hemingway. Molly, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Okay, so this guy comes out with a story that's not true, tank the market. And it would be one thing if he does not have a record of having some uh, big mistakes. But I famously remember after the Aurora uh, theater shooting, he's the one who connected the shooter as being somebody who backed the Tea Party. Right. So Brian Ross has been punished by getting to take the entire month of December off for having this false story, a big mess up on a big story, tanking the market, not doing a good job with a clarification, having trouble actually admitting that it was a full retraction. And just like you said, this is not the first time. I mean, Brian Ross has a history of making pretty serious mistakes. There's the Tea Party incident where they blamed he blamed a Tea Partier for the Aurora, Colorado theater shooting. Right. He also said that Saddam Hussein was responsible for the anthrax in Washington, D.C. after 9 11, even after he was told, I mean, he was told before he went to, to air with that, that that was not a true story. He also was involved in another bad story about Toyota's accelerating. So he has mm -hmm. this history. And it, it's not just that these bad stories affect people's lives or they cause the tank, mar the, the stock market to tank. They also really affect media credibility. And that's why he and his organization should be far more careful. Mm -hmm. Right. And they apolog ABC did apologize. They issued um, uh, an, an apology. They gave him that suspension. But my question to you is, are they really holding themselves accountable or are they um, actually being held accountable by the tweets that the president's been putting out with this very powerful <laughs> social media platform? Well, they're certainly not being held accountable so much by many other media figures. Like Politico had a story headlined, Conservatives Skewer ABC News for Faulty Flynn Report. Well, it shouldn't just be conservatives who are upset with fake right. news. Mm -hmm. Everybody should be upset. If anybody, Trump critics should be the most upset because that totally plays into his hands about the problems with media credibility. Mm -hmm. You know, and the way that ABC presented it on Friday.